Hey everybody, it's the T-Hole, and we're back with some more Hyper Light Drifter. So, we entered the cave, um, moving up north here, and let's see, oh, we have a vulture monk guy who was bad, and we killed him. Um, so... Man, the music in this game is just so great, and everything... Ooh. Ooh! We died! Man. Alright. Let's start this over. <laughs> so, they have some pink magic. It's very interesting. So, everything in this game, so like, if I boost, or dash, or whatever you want to call it, it's pink. When I vomit, my blood is pink. All the enemies' blood is pink. Um, I don't know. There's... There's some weird stuff going on in this game, like... I see hallucinations, I vomit randomly. Uh... Oof. Died again. Okay. I need to try and take that room slower, I think. Just try shooting from the beginning. And get him from farther away. Let's try that. But yeah, like, bullets are pink. Uh... Oh, I ran out of ammo. So it looks like that attack just has like a specific range on it. And then... Oops. So these things here, this yellow stuff, I did do a little bit of research. So basically, that's almost like money. Like, so each four of those little yellow pieces that you get that makes the one other piece. That's what you use to spend for upgrades. Um, so, basically you can just buy upgrades in the game with it uh, at the stores to basically upgrade your dash and your attack and your gun and everything. So, uh, But it's really interesting. So there's a race of bird people. Uh, this weird, like, bear grunty guy, he's he has like a human, like he sort of looks like me, like we have similar hats and stuff, it's kind of interesting. So, we'll sort of see what's going on with the story. I mean, this game doesn't necessarily really have a story, like, there's no real explanation for anything online, there's just like, theories and stuff, and everybody's theories are very different, so it's not like there's a lot of people who tend to agree. Interesting. Got a little intense there. Okay. Okay, so... Let's try this again. And so, I don't know, like, these are like trap doors or something. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, this is a game that, I mean, you're gonna die. 
but luckily you respawn pretty close um, to where where you were, and so um, it's it's not too big of a deal, you know, to die and and be able to re redo that fight pretty much like right away. It lets you really like learn the game and sort of figure it out. So sometimes after only like one or two deaths, you're gonna really be able to. Uh, clear that area and keep moving. And I know for some people, like, difficulty in video games can, can turn people off. Um, there is, there is a newcomer, uh, mode. So you could play it a little bit easier. It gives you some extra health, I believe. Um, it maybe makes some enemies a little bit weaker. So if you're liking what you're seeing but want don't may not feel quite like the game is accessible for you um play newcomer mode like that's not a problem don't be ashamed if you play things somewhat easier so um i think that that's the king guy that was in our in our vision yeah we're pretty much right there not in our vision i should say in uh, our little dialogue slideshow so <laughs> I don't know if that was the bot. No, that could not have been the boss. It just sort of looked like that guy. Okay, but I couldn't heal it. I couldn't use my my heal quick enough because uh, there is like an animation time to that. So it's not like if you tap it, you just instantly heal. Uh, he does have to heal himself or herself. We don't really know. They haven't. There's no gender or anything. Not like it would matter, but. <laughs> Okay, so there's another one of these guys. Okay, so maybe he... It could be the same guy? Who knows? Maybe he can reincarnate. <laughs> Alright, so we'll... Ooh. Okay, and so there's... He's back again. Okay. So I guess I guess that fight's done. He threw his sword in the ground. I guess that's the way the the game tells you. Uh, yeah. So that was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but I guess that maybe that was the boss or no. This is just now a. This is a warp. So this is a little bit before the boss, right? Because the boss is that red skull. So. So this is a warp here. So what we could do now um, is go back to town and use some of our our upgrades. Oh, we just do it through the map, I believe. Where there we are. So let's warp here. Yeah, and so we can look and see what we can, what we can upgrade. So, um, let's see. So we've got attack boost. Um, I think this one is uh, grenade and gun. I think that's the only four. I don't think we ever upgrade our, our health or anything. Uh, I think we just can make our our uh, attacks and stuff stronger. So um, let's see if there is a gun upgrade. Okay, nope, so the upgrade costs two, and we only have one. So that's what I'm talking about. So you see how just below the gun, it has the two yellow squares. That's going to tell us how much it costs. And then in this bottom right larger square or whatever, shows how many I currently have and shows I have one, but I need one more with that red square. So um, 
Can't purchase anything there. And... Again, this one's two. And... Let's see, is there anything that only costs one? Oh, see, and then, like, here's this, like, weird pink stuff. Like, that literally looks like our blood. Like, is this just, like, vats of blood, or... Like, that's very weird. Uh, oh, there is a health store. Um... Oh, that okay. So you can you can pay to increase how many health packs you can carry. So you you don't upgrade your actual health. It's just instead of carrying three like we start off with, it looks like you can carry a maximum of five, um, based on those other two slots there. Again, this costs two, and we can't buy anything. And let's see go up to the sword store and this one costs three so nothing we could do about that and we may not be able to upgrade before we take on the boss Yeah, the dash again, three, so. Um, it looks like maybe no upgrades until after we we fight the boss here, so. Um, that or um, I've just missed some places that we could, uh, some of those little yellow coin circuit pieces, whatever you want to call them. Uh, maybe I missed a few of those, so. Um, let's stand like that warp. Like, everything about this game is just super cool. Like, warping in like that. Like, no big deal. Oh, we do only have one health pack, though, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Maybe there'll be one right here. Like, because it, it looks like we're a little bit away from the boss, so... Oh, okay. There's just a body. What is this? Okay. So I pulled out... Pulled out a little... piece. That's what it was telling me to get. Okay. And so it looks like... Well... I mean, it looked like one of the four triangle pieces, so I'm guessing then that there would be four up here that I need to get. Uh, I do just want to come down here since I saw there's a little stairs. Because it looks like that top area is sort of, you know, the end there. So maybe there's something else here. Okay, so if I get all four pieces, I can go through that door. And this one only requires three pieces. Okay, so this looks like stuff that I'll be able to do after I finish. So, um, let's go back up. <clears throat> Yeah, and like the snow effect, like this game is is very, very well done. There was a lot of time and care, you know, put into this. Is nothing, nothing is really here for for no reason, you know. Especially like with a minimal art design like this, like everything seems to hold a purpose. And there's a reason for why, like, everything. Okay. 
Oh. Well, we just warped around a little bit. And now we're going down in the elevator. So we're finding all sorts of new areas here. Yeah, we're way off to the side. Oh, okay. I think these pink these pink diamonds might be those little triangle pieces. So the one that the guy told me about down here earlier, I might have to go back there and get it. Okay, so this does not look like fun, but let's let's go in there. Not as bad as I thought it could have been. That's good. Okay, got a health pack. Anything else? You know, just normal Zelda type whatever stuff, you know, you just you just start smashing. You just start punching or like slashing with your shoulder your sword, anything that you possibly can to just see if there's, you know, items hiding. Okay. Okay. So we've just got some, you know, interesting platforming type stuff. Okay, so we know that there's, there's another little warp pad, but it's, it's hidden here, so. Maybe we can un unlock it somehow. Okay, so there's a safe block. And the next one is both. There's some odd timing. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Do you, I don't, so <laughs> one of these blocks broke and crushed and it killed one of those like vulture bird guys. Like, that's how this game tells its story, is it just... Oh. Okay. Let's heal. <laughs> Anyways, as I got interrupted because I didn't know that there was randomly a robot that was going to... Uh, be shooting at me. That I can't seem to... Kill. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that's just a little bit much. Whew. Ah. Well, it's healing time. <laughs> man, oh man. Any time that I try and just like talk and just start a normal conversation, this game finds a way to just bombard me with enemies. Okay, so that's a new... That's a new bed. Alright. And we've got a locked door. So, I mean, like, once you get the dodge and, and timing and move around people and attack and dodge and move, it's really not that hard. 
Uh, it's it's definitely. I mean, I know I mentioned previously. You know, sort of like a two D isometric uh, Souls born game or whatever. But I mean, it's it's not nearly as unforgiving. Um, Alright. So now we will be able to purchase at least one upgrade. And it looks like we are able to at least just unlock the door. Yeah, that's what it did. Let's see, where are we at on our Okay, so that room does have the, the pink diamond thing in it, so that's good. So this is sort of like an underground map, it looks like. So there's above ground, and then, oop, that's very zoomed out. Um, and then, yeah, underground, so. So, you know, once you clear out all those hard enemies, and you, uh... <laughs> You unlock the door, you get to just dodge through all these blocks. Oh, and I did not do so. I got squished pretty good. So, and it wants me to heal. Yeah, let's do that, that's fine. I wonder if we have to start the entire area over, if it saves my progress. So like maybe that door is unlocked, maybe dying there, you know. Nope, it looks like the door is locked again. So we do get to do this whole area over, fun fun. See, and then once you've sort of figured it out, like, no, I'm not trying to be cocky, but like, we, we didn't take any damage there. You know? We are able to just sort of figure it out and get good. And there we go. <sighs> now, hopefully since I did that part that well, I won't mess up the brick thing again and I won't have to do it again. <laughs> Only time will tell. Oof. Oh. Okay. Whew. Now, it better, it better save going through here. Usually it saves every door you go through, so I think it should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So... All this brick fun is not done. <sighs> At least you've got like good music to listen to, you know? It's nice that there's always a health pack right here. Okay. Well then. <laughs> uh, one of these times I will make it through.
Oof. Okay. So we made it through that one. <laughs> but if we die anywhere else, then I guess we have to do the whole thing. Okay. Woo! So we are safe up here. And I got my wall away there, so let's go through. Okay, this looks pretty just standard. Yep, alright. And let's go through the pink door. See, everything, like, energy-related, everything's pink. It's like, I don't know if it's just a, a, like, design choice of just, like, for color palette reasons, or what, but, oh, man. How far back does that take us? Okay, just before the door. Okay, very good. Yeah, so I don't know if it's like a color palette reason or if they're trying to tell you a story through that, you know? Like, we're vomiting up pink stuff, everything's pink, like, all of this is evil. Not quite sure. I do love that. Like, just like flicking his sword, stabbing it into the ground, saying, I killed everybody in this room. Look at all these bodies. I did that. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that. Oh, that's just decoration. Okay. So we've got another door to go through here. Oh, there's something else here that we can break. Nope, nothing in it. Okay. And we've got our pink diamond thing. All right, there we go. Now we have two. Oh, I think that that warp pad that was blocked uh, is this one here. Maybe. We'll see. Nope, it just takes us all the way out. Very cool. Oh, okay. So these towers here. So that's those other three... Or the other two uh, diamonds, I guess, maybe, like this one will warp you there, and let's see, it looks like, yeah, maybe they all go there. So we need to figure out a way to get down to this pink one here. Let's go figure that out, because I think, was I correct, do we need those in order to fight the boss yeah because this is still open or still bleh. it's not open it is closed <laughs> all right well i think before we start our journey to get that next pink diamond that we will call it a day and uh, I will see you guys next time for more hyper light drifter take it easy